Zimbabwe's mining sector has a diverse range of activities, chief among them small to medium operations. The spotlight is currently on the country's greatest mineral resource, the Great Dyke. The plan is to maximize economic and infrastructure benefits to towns along the dyke and to help turn around the lives of communities. The business potential of the Great Dyke are numerous. What was lacking was awareness as most stations only focus on Harare and Bulawayo. We have come in to give a voice to the miners. So I think we shall be doing that. Already we have started. With Zimbabwe's general mining policy being to sustain development of the country's mineral resources, a radio tour was set up. It traversed a number of towns along the Great Dyke to create awareness about the possible benefits the communities stand to gain. We hope it will bring to the fore the investment opportunities which are within all the towns which are in the Great Dyke. As you can see, it's a scenic town, scenic in nature because of the environment, even the rainfall pattern, it's quite uh, conducive. Now what we, uh, we intend to do possibly as the local authority is to attract as many investors as possible so that they could possibly tap into the resources that are there within the Great Dyke. 30 of the country's top cyclists participated in the inaugural Tour de Great Dyke, a three-day, 225-kilometer bicycle expedition from Chegutu to Zishavane. The theme was unlocking investment potential, exceeding limitation within the Great Dyke. I enjoyed cycling from Chegutu. I saw it as a good thing. I am a cyclist and I enjoy cycling. The Great Dyke stretches across 550 kilometers running from the north to the south of the country. It holds the world's second largest resource of platinum group metals. It also has deposits of chrome, nickel, copper, cobalt and gold and much more. Catherine Omwando, CCTV.